So we've seen the knight h1 regrouping, covering the bishop, preparing bishop g3. e4 was played, knight d4, e4 very double edged, of course, giving up control of this d4 square by at least opening the f file for the rooks. Queen g6, he did not go knight c5. Queen g6 stopping all these bishop moves. And, and look at this move. H4. Whoa. We were discussing with our producer. He was suggesting that H4 is the best move the computer gives, the only move which gives advantage. Yeah, Icaro's feeling good. Nice move. Well, though, Looking I don't think loved. there was... That there was many options for white. Oh, H3. H3 was also possible, but then why not to go H4, H5 possibly, pushing yeah. away the queen from G6, where it's located pretty convincing, and just went there. H5 is annoying, isn't it? Right. <clears throat> I'm not even saying that it's a concrete threat, I guess, but uh, it can be annoying, yeah. White has all the squares. So what should black do? I don't really want to play h5 with black. It looks like very weakening. Well, I would be scared to play h5, I think. Yeah. If we try to bring the knight somewhere closer. Yeah, somehow I would like to see black's knight on e5 and g4 possibly. We get there. But let's say knight c5. What happens if I just. Uh... Why did you go back? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I was going back. Knight c5? I don't know. Maybe king h2 immediately. Because what's the rush? Tempting me to play e3, but it doesn't get much in. Yeah. Uh, that you want to go e3 and knight e4. It's a nice square at least. At a steep price though. Well, for now, e3, queen e3, I guess. Mm -hmm. Knight e4, bishop g3. Though bishop f3 is also kind of seems a normal move. What's going on here? I don't know, bishop e5. Still not threatening anything after all this. Takes Take one. Ah, sorry. Something should drop. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, then I go bishop e f3. Yeah. Or takes and bishop. No, uh, bishop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, without my rooks doing damage, it's not so clear what I'm hoping for here. Still, the position remains weird. That's true. That looks like quite a stable enough. You may want king back. What a tough game they're playing. Yes, absolutely. And then let's see if uh, not king h2, but I go h5. Yeah, that's what I was worried about because the queen on f6 is blocking the rooks. And now we're running out of squares to jump to, no? unless e3 works again. Or bishop g3 was also possible, I think, and uh, regrouping knight to f2. Finally. Yeah, I was trying to, to stop this knight from coming, but maybe it's not a big deal either. Let's see, I take. Take, take, knight f2. You? Yeah. Oh, no. Queen is six. <clears throat> This I'm, I'm, I did not see. Well, it's not, not a game changer exactly. Queen e3 or whatever. Bishop g4? No. Well, 
well. Feels like quite could be stabilizing. Although I have to say, I also like this bishop g4 directly, just trying to take all the squares, like then bishop g3. Yeah. Where are the black pieces going? Looks very unpleasant. This pawn on h5 is actually helping. This bishop is stable. Mm. Icaro putting pressure. Fadi's clock is also ticking. 26 minutes. It's already moved 27. Because he diplets out like the first 20 moves. But since then... It's been very, very hard to make moves. Yeah, it's a serious issue in such a position that you have only 25 minutes. Naka will win, 39% that Fabi will win, and 25% that it's going to be a draw. Fair. Um, I currently like Icaro's chances looking at the clock and the position. This is a very tough spot for Fabiano. And he played knight c5, which we looked at. What do we do? h5, queen f6, and we talked about bishop g4 or bishop g3. Exactly. Isn't this just nice? I don't see what black does. And it's not clear whether the d3 bishop, uh, whether we can say that it's a good square for the bishop or actually it doesn't. Standing in the way, the knight wants yeah, to do Yeah, and, yeah, and what, what does it do with the pawn on e4 and c4? Yeah. Stabilizes itself, but actually, where to go, what to do? Why is it good? I mean, after king h2, the f1 square is what? Air. Yeah, the only way to make sense of it would be to play some e3, but of course, that costs us and one of these precious e4 pawns. Square. Yeah, that's, yeah, that I understand, but it's just giving a pawn away, right? Especially here, mighty four, I guess. Bishop, bishop e6. Ah, bishop e6. Yeah. No, it just doesn't seem to work. So what does he want to do? It's white has so much potential, like bishop g3, knight f2, king h2, b4 is there if we ever need it. h6 looming. This knight could, could end up being on e3. The problem is it. of black... I don't know exactly how white is going to win, though I have some ideas how to improve the position. But one of the biggest problems, I think, for black, that where is he going to be playing? Where is the Conte chances? Where, where, where he should be looking for? Yeah, I don't get it. Also, there's knight on c5 now. It's dominated by the bishop. Yeah. And the knight on d4. <coughs> it's just bad, though. I mean, I, I just don't see the counter chance. After h5, do I have a better square for my queen? Could go. There are no good squares, actually. Here, I mean, standing in the it's, diagonal. Yeah, you don't want to enter into the pin, right? e6, this comes with tempo. Well, so it doesn't seem to matter, no? Even if I do the same. Yeah. What does black want? Uh, I'll, I'll get my regrouping. He's in trouble. He's in real big trouble. Yeah, because the g4 square is an incredibly important square for the bishop. So nice. Just keeping the black tied up. On d1, it was just a very passive piece, practically doing nothing. And after having it on g4, it's a whole different story. Looks very, very sad for Fabiano. White has all the resources, like B4 is there. This pawn on H5 really helps as well, taking the G6 square and stabilizing the bishop. You can never get hit. And of course, Nakamura wants to win, desperately wants to win. He wants to create chances for himself, and he played H5. He wants to be there. What's their relationship, Nakamura Karwana? Is there some tension there? Well, sometimes some. I don't know about that. Some I know barks, that he's not going to be playing in the Olympiad, Nakamura. Yeah. 